Um, so we're here today with Dr. Stan Greenspoon, uh, Professor Emeritus of Capilano University, to speak about gravity. I'd like to talk about how our ideas about gravity have evolved over the ages. And perhaps many of you have heard of the great Greek philosopher Aristotle. And not only did he indulge in philosophy, but he also considered himself a scientist. And he said much about physics. Unfortunately, as we'll see, much of it wasn't correct. Aristotle lived from 384 to 322 BCE. And his general philosophy in science was that bodies had a natural place. And a natural place of a body would be on the Earth's surface. And in his view, a heavier body had a greater desire to be at its natural place than a lighter body. And therefore, a heavier body should fall faster than a lighter body. And if you dropped it from the same height, both of them, both bodies would not reach the ground at the same time, but the heavier one would reach the ground first. Now, if I do an experiment here with a heavy steel ball and a piece of paper, and I drop them from the same height, well, sure enough, the steel ball did indeed reach the ground first and land and move faster than the light than the paper one. However, if I crumple up the paper, we get a little bit confused because if I crumple it up and drop it from the same height, there's almost no perceptible difference when they reach the ground, nor, nor they, then they fall together. So what the, what the Greeks perhaps were not seeing was that we, what we know is that, of course, the effect is one of air resistance. However, they could have simply done an experiment, as I'm going to do right now, with the steel ball and a much lighter wooden one. And if I drop them from the same height, there again is there's absolutely no perceptible difference when they reach the ground. They fall together. So my, one might wonder, why did the ancient Greeks, why did Aristotle and those succeeding him for hundreds of years not do these simple experiments and show that his ideas are wrong? And that has always been a mystery to me and to scholars looking into Greek science. The next personality who enters into our story about gravity is the considered the father of modern science. And his name was the Italian scientist Galileo. And Galileo lived from 1564 to 1642. And Galileo actually is considered the father of modern science because he actually did experiments. He didn't just philosophize as the ancient Greeks did. And of course, one of the famous experiments he's known for is the dropping of cannonballs from the Leaning Tower of Pisa, a large cannonball and a small one, just as I dropped the steel ball and the wooden one, the heavy steel one, the light wooden one. And of course, what was observed is that they reached the ground at the same time and fell together. People question whether this experiment actually was done or not. It certainly makes a very good story. Now, Galileo not only wanted to show it experimentally, but he actually wanted to show that Aristotle's ideas were logically contradictory, logically inconsistent. It was a logically inconsistent assumption, namely that the heavier bodies will fall faster than lighter ones. And he considered this following experiment. He considered attaching a heavy mass, a light mass, which this one is 200 grams, and this one is 1,000 grams, one kilogram together. And here's what Galileo said to show that Aristotle's ideas were completely logically incorrect. He said, this, this 1,000 gram mass should fall faster than the lighter one, according to you, Gal to Aristotle. Yes. That's what Aristotle would agree with. How about if we connect them with a string, as I have done, a light string, no, no significant mass at all, and we drop them together? Well, what would Aristotle have said? Well, Aristotle would say, well, the lighter one doesn't want to fall as fast as the heavy one, so it's going to hold back the heavy one, and the combination will fall slower 
than the heavy one by itself. And of course, that would, Aristotle would have to agree to that. But then Galileo said, aha! He didn't actually say aha, but I'm putting that in. He would say, aha! These, this combination of the 1,000 grams and the 200 grams, the heavy and the light, is heavier than the heavier one by itself. And the combination should fall faster than the heavier one by itself. Hey, but we just said that the light one's going to hold back the heavy one and the combination's going to fall slower than the heavy one by itself. And there is the contradiction. So, these people in antiquity, well, Galileo wasn't really in antiquity. 500 years ago or so, were very, very clever. And this is called the Gedanken experiment, the thought experiment. You don't actually have to do it, you just consider it and show that there's a logical inconsistency in what Aristotle originally said.